Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. Doctor, do you believe in black magic? This week we're going all spiritual for the Manitou. Oh no. Not Tony Curtis's finest hour, but at least the moustache does come off. The plot starts off basically as Rosemary's tumour. How long have you had this? About uh, three days. Except that's not a tumour. The tumour on her neck is definitely a fetus. This part of the film can be genuinely disturbing. <laughs> Although also genuinely amusing. Tony Curtis investigates by summoning Martin Sheen from Apocalypse Now and comes to the conclusion that the lump on Karen's back is the reincarnation of a Native American medicine man. God, son, you do have one hell of a problem. So he decides to bring in another medicine man to help. How are we going to pay him? Indians have their own values. Nah, just give him some beads. Is that bad? And suddenly the film becomes The Exorcist. Hold Mescomachus. Hold him in the circle of charms. Oh no, they're too late. Now Karen will die. Do you still seriously think that Karen can be saved? According to Indian lore, yes. Excuse me, Please. what did we say earlier? And so powerful a medicine man, you might have to wait until he leaves the woman's body. That would kill her. And if he's not killing her, then where's the harm in a reincarnated medicine man? He seems nice enough. Hey, do your impression of Moses. What's the worst he could do? Oh no, he's turned the hospital into Narnia. Okay, I'm going to try and put into some sort of order all the various plot lines and their relative inconsistencies, and if you still don't know what's going on, then... You're exactly where I am now. You're right, you're right, you're right. So, reincarnated medicine man growing on Karen's back. Karen Tandy has something growing on her back that's killing her. Except it doesn't. She's still alive. No. When doctors try to remove it, it defends itself. <laughs> Except x-rays harm it and it does nothing. We pumped in with enough x-ray to see through Fort Knox. And once it emerges, no one even suggests using x-rays against it. I don't get the connection. The medicine man now summons... Devil, Lucifer, Satan. No idea why, but it doesn't seem very medicine man-ish to me. That's impossible. Five minutes ago, you watched a 400-year-old midget crawl out of someone's back. But this tips the scale. I know. The film now asks you to ignore everything that's gone before and concentrate on a simple magic contest. Old school Manitou. They're Manitou or a mortal spirit versus the Manitou of machines. John, didn't you say that a machine has its own Manitou? Yeah. But the good medicine man can't control the machines. The machine's Manitous won't come. It's white man's medicine. Yes, all you need to save the world is a white man. All right, Miss Quimarcus, I've had enough of this. Who do you think you are? And a half-naked chick with magic hands. Job done. Well, maybe we'll meet him again someday. What are you talking about? He's dead. Despite this blatant hint dropping, no sequel was ever made. Goodbye, John Singing Rock. Perhaps because it would be hard to take seriously a film called Manny Tutu. In cinemas this summer. If you've got a film you'd like us to review, leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe. God. Your God won't help you. Nothing in your Christian world will help. Not prayers, not holy water. Not the weight of a thousand of your churches. What about that circle of sand? <laughs>